Data Weighting by Spinnaker Research. Let's talk about data weighting in survey research. As a researcher, I want to make assumptions about large populations. But of course, I can't interview all of the members of said population. Instead, I select a small section of the population that I can interview. This is called the sample. The sample I select has to be representative of the population. Let's take gender as our variable. If the population consists of 50% men and 50% women, the sample should contain equal percentages in order to make valid assumptions. Unfortunately, a sample is almost never fully representative. This is due in part to sampling bias or a selective non-response. By weighting the sample data afterwards, we try to correct any known bias and make the sample representative of the population. Every individual respondent, male or female, gets his or her own weight factor. Underrepresented subjects get a higher weight factor, and overrepresented subjects receive a lower weight. Let me give you a practical example. A university has 50% male students and 50% female students. In a study, 60% male students and 40% female students were interviewed. The men in the sample get a factor of 0.83 and the women get a factor of 1.25. By applying these weight factors on the data results, you can make representative assumptions. So far, this sounds quite easy. Consider, however, if you have more variables besides gender that you want to control for, like age, education, place of birth, and so on. The calculation of individual weights becomes quite complex. To solve this, Spinnaker Research created a web-based weighting tool enabling any researcher to easily calculate data weights for their sample, no matter how complex, and without the need to write any syntax or even have programming skills. Simply upload your data and provide the desired targets. For more information, visit spinnakerresearch.nl.